I love about Nicolas Tassard, he is very funny, genuine person. He's very loving and caring, kind, and he loves me very much, and I can tell. And I love that. I love his laugh. He has a nice laugh. And his chin. He has a thing in the middle right here. <laughs> Yeah, I love his commitment to his sport, Taekwondo, and how dedicated he is to that. And it shows that he's a long-term commitment kind of guy, because he's been doing that for a very long time and still really excited and passionate about it. And um, I can see our relationship being equally as, you know, passionate and dedicated to keeping it going strong. receive this, this ring, ring and will wear, wear it as a sign of your love and faithfulness. May it be the symbol always that we have chosen to serve one another in perfect freedom. May it be the public demonstration that our love, that that our love is complete, is complete and, never ending. and never ending. Now that Christina, Arlene McPherson and Nicholas Marlon Dussard have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with a join of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. you the story of Nicholas Desard, as written by Kenneth Edwards. <laughs> Nicholas, I can remember coming to Taekwondo and seeing this young man training really hard with very little talent, in my opinion. <laughs> very little talent. He was average to say the best, you know, but a work ethic unmatched, unmatched by even the most talented of martial arts competitors and athletes around him. And that for me struck me as, wow, this kid is a star. Um, not just because, you know, he proved it in his competitions, but every training session he would prove it. As Mr. Mackay would always say, Kenneth, you had the five kicks when Nickel and everybody else had the 20. Five kicks work for me. But <laughs> Nicholas 20 really proved him a leader among even the LS of us. On the 7th of February, some years ago, my parents brought a beautiful, bouncing baby girl into the world. That baby was me. <laughs> so, I got home, had a lovely mommy and daddy, 
I had all their attention, right? I had my own room, my own bed, my own dresser, all these things, right? Then all of a sudden, two years, one month, and 22 days later, they brought another little person, right? She was chubby and squishy with dimples, right? And they called her Christina. I just want to say that of almost all the people that I know, she is obviously, yes, she is gorgeous, that goes without saying, but she is one of the most ambitious, determined, and driven people that I know. And uh, I want to say to Nick, Nick, you have on your hands a handful of a woman because everybody says the man wear the pants. Let me tell you, we're not going to share the pants there. All right? And my last thing that I'm going to say is to my, my wife. Um, thank you for, for the person you are. Yes, you're a whole lot of women and you're a handful and all of that. And it's, it's something that, is, that I, I admire. And I look forward to us growing together and just the work and the effort that you've put into this moment. I want to thank you for that. And I, I, want, you to th I want to thank you for taking me too as a husband and wanting to share your life with me. I hope that I can make it worth your while. I will try my best. And just for everybody who was a part of this, um, thank you very much. I, I did want to respond to the whole lot of women and that I'm going to tell him which pants to wear. I accept now that I am under new management and I will conform and I will abide by the rules of my husband. I will be submissive. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was paid to say this or she They didn't pay me. They didn't pay me. But um, I, I do want to make mention to those who could not be here tonight and who are here with us in spirit. Um, we did tell my grandfather about this before he passed and he had joked and said, we're not going to have to bring the wedding to me because, you know, but um, I wish he could have been here tonight, but I know he's looking down upon us. And, and those who have gone before us who are here with us in spirit tonight. Um, they didn't pay me to say all those things. No, they didn't. And I appreciate um, your, you tolerating my, I didn't be a bridezilla, guys. It wasn't, I didn't. But when I was not calm, he was like, okay, what else do you need right now? Um, so he's very good with that. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to a lifetime of happiness. So a bit of sweet, meh. But the sweet, I'm looking forward to the sweet and the passionate. And of course, getting through the sour and the bitter together and just having a, a wonderful marriage and a wonderful life together.